Hello, there are certainly many ways to design 3D models. For example, we can use OpenSCAD to write a program, we can use FreeCAD, Onshape, SolidWorks, Autodesk Tinkercad, Theory 360, or Inventor. One can also scan a physical object for an STL file, and there are certainly many alternatives. I've been asked how one can wrap a picture around a surface. For example, um, I have a two-dimensional image here. What should I do if I want to wrap this picture around a cylinder or a cup, just for the fun of it, or create a piece of art? You may have some um, calligraphy, and here I have four characters, and which literally means um, don't talk nonsense. And what if I want to wrap these characters around a cup or a tube? And sometimes when we want to wrap a, a map or a 2D picture on, onto a sphere, like this one, how can I do that? There are many ways to do that, I think. And uh, I've found that we can actually use um, uh, the Flash Forge uh, driver or the slicer uh, as a shortcut. And uh, I just want to say that I'm not in any way affiliated with Flash Forge, and but I do have a few uh, Flash, for, Flash Forge printers which I use for educational purposes. If you go to uh, any browser and Google for Flash Forge USA drivers, and uh, you may uh, find this page. Uh, go down the list and uh, look for Flash Print, which is their slicer. Uh, there are several different variants. You, you have the Windows 64-bit, 32-bit, and the Mac version and Linux variants. Uh, download it and install it on your computer. Uh, you may have to, uh, or if you want to, you can update it. Uh, it's automatic. And then you can use that to play with um, 3D objects um, for young kids. And school children, this could be a um, you know, beginning project to learn about 3D printing and design and how we can um, create something, a piece of art to share and, uh, and talk about. All right, let's see uh, how we can do that. Uh, I have uh, the Flash Print, uh, the uh, Flash Forge slicer installed on my Windows machine, and when you open it, it looks like this. Uh, I think I have the uh, the version is 4.1.0, the 64-bit version, and uh, you can always update it, as I said. Um, different versions may have different features. All right, uh, normally uh, when you uh, print a 3D uh, part, uh, you would find the or download or create the STL file and uh, load it uh, into this slicer and uh, you have the cube there uh, then uh, you click print and, uh, and define the parameters and uh, create a g-code which is to be sent to the printer uh, all right uh, there's something behind this um, slicer uh, it can take a an image and uh, wrap it around a 3d object all right, let's try that. Here on my computer, I have a few pictures. There's a map there, there's a flower, and there's um, that's the uh, SIU tower. Um, it's, a, it's a 2D uh, picture, as I said. All right, let's try that. All you need to do is find the picture and drag it into the flash print, the slicer, all right? And uh, then you are going to see a dialog a box popping up on your screen. Uh, so we are going to wrap this uh, picture onto a 3D surface. It can be a tube. You can see you have several choices. It can be a plane, uh, it can be a sphere, it can be a canister, it can be a lamp, it can be a seal. A seal is like a stamp. And uh, you, uh, if you are creating a stamp, you can choose that. All right, let's choose the uh, canister, which is just a cup. All right, and you can choose the mode, a lighter, is a thicker, uh, or 
darker is thicker depending on your preference so let's choose darker is thicker uh, the base thickness and it's the uh, that's the definition for thickness the max maximum thickness and you see the surface is going to vary uh, between 1.5 millimeters and 3 millimeters you can change this and uh, depending on your preference um, since we are we are wrapping the image on around a uh, canister a tube and I, I don't think it can be uh, too thick uh, so if you choose 10 there and uh, you may have trouble printing the part all right um, I think that's fine and the bottom solid thickness is the the bottom of the cup uh, the height of the cup you can choose how, how about 80 um, millimeters depending on your preference the top diameter and the bottom diameter if they are the same we are creating a cup that's pretty much just a cylinder with a bottom and if you um, change the diameter of the bottom and or the uh, um, the top you may end up with a cup uh, let's change this to 90 the top diameter is 90 and uh, I don't know what we are going to get all right so play with these um, uh, parameters and uh, see what you get click OK and see what you can get out of that process now we have this um, two-dimensional image and wrapped around this cup okay so that looks good all right if you just want to print this um, uh, the cup you can go to print uh, and then slice it and you know I'm not going to go through all these details and you choose the, uh, the, the layer height of the resolution the perimeter and the infill and then um, I don't think we need any support for this cup so just click OK and uh, create a G code and send it to your printer all right so if you want to save this as a STL file just go to once you're happy with this if you're not happy uh, just click the part and delete it or like that or press ctrl Z to go back or let's redo that that's the two-dimensional picture and uh, you can play with these um, parameters uh, we are use the, uh, the the shape called a, a canister um, there's the uh, top diameter uh, let's choose that uh, how about 80 80 across right the bottom how about 50 or oh, 60 that doesn't matter all right play with it uh, click OK all right, that's that that looks better all right more like a cup you can use this as a um, you know, pencil holder all right if you want to save this as an STL file and uh, share it with uh, other people you can go to file and uh, click save as save as what um, how about an STL file you can choose that all right you can then um, save it so that makes sense So let's go back and look at other features. I have a map here. Um, so you can, uh, there are many different um, styles and depending on how you project the earth onto a two dimensional um, uh, rectangle. So for a, for a map, I want to uh, wrap this around a sphere. That's uh, why we have this uh, uh, selection here, sphere. and of course for sphere uh, we need to define the equatorial diameter um, that's 80 how about 120 okay, millimeters the base thickness and the maximum thickness and this defines the um, you know how, to what extent um, the image will be uh, reflected or represented around the sphere and if you really want to see the oval shape or ellipsoid uh, you can say yes or no and I'm going to say no because I won't want to have a sphere, uh, a globe. Let's see what happens. The darker is the thicker. That's fine. All right. Now we have this two-dimensional, um, the world map around, uh, wrapped around this this sphere. That looks um, pretty good, right? You can print this out or save it as an STL file. Um, and share with other people I think you will need a support okay, a partial support to uh, 
uh, keep the uh, shape of this the bottom. All right. Feel free to uh, uh, move it or rotate it and to make uh, the printing uh, process easier. All right, um, let's try one more. Um, I have these characters. All right, uh, I want to put this character uh, around a tube. Okay. A, a tube it, you know, has two empty ends. I think that's the uh, definition in this context. Uh, play with these parameters, the, the height and the top diameter, bottom diameter, you know, they are the same. And if you like these default numbers, just click OK. Otherwise, um, change them. So I want the height to be 80 millimeters, the top diameter, how about uh, 100? The bottom diameter, 100, okay? So it's more like a cylinder, a tube. All right, how about lighter is thicker? Um, all right. Okay, now we have these four characters wrapped around this, this tube. That's interesting, right? So the meaning of these four characters means really uh, it's, uh, some Chinese characters, meaning uh, the usefulness of uselessness. Well, it's just a funny um, phrase. That's it. Um, Control Z to remove, um, clear the space. Uh, I have played with this for a while. It turns out. Uh, Right at, at this moment, the slicer does not take the uh, the vector graphics. See, I have the Illinois um, map here in a SVG file. It, see, it does not accept that. Uh, of course, you can always convert a SVG file uh, to a PNG file or a JPEG file, depending on your preference. Uh, a PNG file works fine. Uh, for example, Let's just uh, put this on, on make, make a seal, which means uh, you, you're going to uh, use the reflection of the image, mirror image of the uh, picture to uh, define the surface. Um, play with the parameters if you like and click OK. So now I have created a, a seal, a stamp, and uh, you can get some ink pad and uh, make some shapes, a map of the state, Illinois. Is that okay? Uh, one more. How about a flower? I have a flower there. Let's uh, put the flower on a, a lamp. A lamp is uh, it's like, uh, well, we all know what a lamp is. And uh, of course, you can play with the height and the top di diameter and the bottom diameter. And lighter, thicker, or how about darker, thicker? Click OK. Now we have a the flower wrapped around a lamp that's uh, that's too too tall right well you can always come back and, uh, and, and change that the height how about oh, 80 millimeters uh, the top um, the bottom and play with that how about uh, the top is 90 millimeters I don't know what oh that that looks good so now we have a flower wrapped around a, a cone essentially you can print this all right and that's uh, I think that's a very uh, easy way to uh, wrap a picture around a uh, 3D surface. Um, there may be new features uh, coming in the future. Um, to me, uh, this is a uh, great and beginning um, project for uh, students who are just learning about 3D design. Of course, when you have time, uh, go to uh, uh, the uh, Autodesk. Um, Fiona 360 or Inventor, or use just uh, OpenSCAD to create some basic shapes. All right, thank you for watching and have fun.